Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. Normally I post a new video every Monday, but today I am participating in a special video hop to celebrate my Koo's 2000th subscriber, so I am posting this week's video a couple days early. I am very happy to collaborate with many of my Koo's friends in this celebration video blog hop. As many of you probably know, YouTube recently upped the number of subscribers and minutes watched on our YouTube channels that are required for monetization, and many of us smaller YouTubes or YouTubers are joining together to help support each other to reach our goals. Thank you for hopping along today and for your support. I am sharing how to make this celebration double display card and you can win this card and a brand new stamp set too so stick around to the end to find out how. This is the card that we are going to make today. It is called a double display card and here are the supplies that I used to make this card. Our daily bread has a set of dies. Um, they have a die that makes the double display card and they have a die that makes all the layers in the card. So if you look at a double display card, there are ways that you can make this by hand without the dies. And I'm going to link to one um, with a tutorial on how to do that in my description. But I know that I would not try to do that by hand and I did um, get the, the dies that made this so easy. Um, the layering dies um, cut this out perfectly for you, um, each piece that you need. And this is what all the dies look like. It's two sets um, for the long card and the layers. I'm also using a Celebrate die from Tonic Studios. I use the Hamstead Butterfly Stem die from Poppy Stamps. And I'm using a new set of dies from Gina K um, called Time to Celebrate. And this is the stamp set that you can win if you stick around to the end to find out how. I'm using some uh, micro mini glue dots and some fine um, tip uh, glue and a, the bottle um, and a few other supplies. So when you want to make the um, double display card, you're going to cut out the um, longer die. Uh, and for my card, I cut it out of a blue cardstock. And I cut, cut the double display layers out of designer paper and white cardstock. Now, like I said, there is a way that you can make this by hand. And I've included a link to a tutorial on how to do that if you can't afford or don't want to buy the, the dies that I showed you. You can also buy the card bases already made at Our Daily Bread, and a link to those are in the description box too. I love fun folds, and this one is so fun, I did invest in the, in the bundle die set to make these. So <clears throat> this is, um, you, you cut out this larger piece here, die, and um, if you look on the um, information here it says mountain valley mountain valley valley mountain valley mountain so it tells you exactly on here how to fold it and here is a sample that I did and again there's mountain valley mountain valley valley mountain so you fold each one of those according to the instructions and then it will fold up flat and be ready to mail in an A2 size envelope but then it will open and stand up for display. So I have the blue piece prepared to put things together. I have all the pieces that I need here cut. So this piece with the Celebrate die from Tonic Studios goes in the center and these go on the side and I stamp that with that Gina K stamp set. So 
we simply attach this with a little bit of space on all sides. This designer paper is from a real pretty set by the Paper Studio that has um, pretty foil accents. Then that layering die set cuts out all the pieces that you need. pieces. And eight of these little squares. So actually what you do is you cut each of these out twice. Those pieces are done. Then I have um, cut a um, pretty butterfly floral piece that is going uh, to be attached to the front area. I like my fine line glue and fine tip glue bottle for these delicate dies. I cut that out of a green and a kind of purple blue and layered the butterflies um, on there. I have some other butterflies that I cut that I'm going to attach with my favorite micro blue dots. One little one here. Happy birthday to you. And then I like adding some gems to my butterflies. And I am going to use these stupendous um, gem stickers, which makes it very, very easy. And they're, they're flat, so easy for mailing as well. And I like that they're different sizes, so you can choose different ones for each butterfly. So 
so our double display celebration card is complete. I wanted to share with you um, another card that I made using that same uh, die set. This one is a Christmas one. Wishing you peace, love, and joy. So obviously, depending on the papers that you use, you can make different celebration cards. And I used a um, tree um, that I did um, with a folded technique that I was um, quite popular on my YouTube channel earlier. So there's a different way of using that same die. <clears throat> the stamp set that I used to stamp this happy birthday to you is so new it's not even available at Gina K Designs or Thermoweb but you can win it here. I received one early to be able to design for the Thermoweb booth at Creat Creativation formerly known as CHA and then I received another one in a Thermoweb class I took there so I'm giving this one away along with the card that I made today to one of you video hoppers. To qualify, you must be a subscriber on my YouTube channel and leave a comment here before midnight Central Standard Time on Sunday, February 4th. All the video winners from the video blog hop will be announced on Michael's YouTube channel on Tuesday and I will also reply to the winning comment on Tuesday so you can get me your mailing address. So you need to be a subscriber on my YouTube channel and leave a comment this weekend. I normally announce the winners of the three cards from the last techniques class in my first YouTube tutorial the next month. And since this one is replacing my typical Monday video, I am also announcing that winner today. <clears throat> in my last techniques class, I shared how to make these stamps these cards with stamps that move from Motion Crafts by Uchi's Designs. So there was three cards and all of them move. See his, how his legs move? And this one has a bicycle that moves. So um, I showed how to make that and then I said somebody who left a comment would win all these cards. Um, and also, I wanted to let you know that there are new stamps and dies uh, that Motion Crafts came out at, with at Creativation. And I can't wait to share them here on, a, and on my blog as well. The winner of these cards is Teresa. Teresa, I will leave a comment on your comment so you can get back to me with your mailing address. Good luck. Thanks for hopping, subscribing, sharing, and helping me share the joy of creativity.